two projects. In this video, we are going to discuss about the project, which is multi-scale object detection in traffic sign images. So before getting into the execution, let me give you an overview of the project. Have you ever wondered how self-driving cars recognize traffic signs or how smart cameras monitor road safety? Our project is all about focusing on improving the detection of traffic signs using advanced technologies. So imagine a busy street corner, busy with vehicles and pedestrians. In middle of this activity, traffic signs, they silently convey important messages, directing traffic and also ensuring safety. However, identifying these signs accurately in real time, they possess a significant challenge, especially for automated systems like automated self-driving cars. So what are we aiming in this project is to enhance traffic sign detection using deep learning techniques. So to address this challenge posed by traffic sign detection, the author in the base paper, he has presented a technique called CR YOLO V8. It's a neural network architecture based on YOLO V8S. This specialized network is designed to improve the accuracy of detecting traffic signs of various sizes while maintaining real-time processing speed. So what are we going to do in this project? So we are going to conduct a comparative study where we compare different models for detecting traffic signs. And the models are YOLO V5, HC, YOLO V5S, YOLO SG, YOLO V3, YOLO V8, CR YOLO V8, SSD, and RetinaNet. And we evaluate each model based on how accurate it is and how quickly it can detect signs and how reliable it is. So to implement this project, first we explore the data of traffic signs. This involves tasks like reading the images and plotting them to see what they look like and pre-process them to make easier for computers to understand. For example, we might turn the images into special data structures called blob objects, define the different types of signs and mark where each sign in the image. Next, we are using pre-made that are pre-trained models that have already been trained on lots of data. These models helps us process the images more efficiently. And we then we make some changes to these models to make them better at detecting traffic signs. This involve Things like adjusting how they look at the images or adding extra information to help them understand science better. Once these models are trained, we test them using different measures like mean average precession, recall, and precession. So after evaluating, we select the best performing model and deploy it. We have deployed the project using flask based web application, which is integrated with SQLite. So to Implement this project, we need software and hardware requirements. Coming to software requirements, we need application of Anaconda, primary language of Python, front-end framework of Flask, back-end framework of Jupyter Notebook, database of SQLite 3, front-end technologies are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Moving on to the hardware requirements, we need Windows operating system, i5 and above processor, 8 GB and above RAM, 25 GB and above hard disk. So moving on, these are the algorithms which are built in the project. So after building and evaluating, we will compare all the algorithms and select the best performing algorithm. So YOLO V5 has performed great. So let's understand what is YOLO V5. So before understanding YOLO V5, first we need to know what is YOLO. So YOLO, it stands for You Only Look Once, and it is the state-of-the-art object detection algorithm that processes images in real time, providing a fast and efficient method for identifying objects within them. And it operates by dividing the input image into a grid and predicts burning boxes and class probabilities directly from this grid. Unlike traditional object detection methods that require multiple passes over a time, YOLO performs detection in just a single pass directly predicting burning boxes and class probabilities for multiple objects simultaneously. So this approach makes YOLO particularly well suited for applications requiring real-time processing. So YOLO V5 is an iteration of the You Only Look Once object detection algorithm developed by Ultralytics, aiming to enhance speed and accuracy. It introduces a redesigned architecture with variants such as YOLO V5S, M, L, and X. 
each catering to different computational requirements. Known for its impressive performance and ease of use, YOLO V5 achieves state-of-the-art results on object detection benchmarks while remaining accessible to researchers and practitioners alike. So now we will execute the project. To execute it, first we need to open the code folder which contains source code files. So these are the source code files in the code folder of the project. So let's understand each file, how will they be used in the project? So first, let's discuss about the folders in which we have the data set that are YOLO V5 and YOLO V8. So coming to YOLO V5, we have two subfolders, one is train and the other one is validation. Coming to train, we have two more subfolders, images and the labels. In images, we have images related to traffic signs on the roads. So we will be using all of these images to train the YOLO V5 algorithm. So here we can observe that there are 798 images in this folder. So now get back, coming to the labels folder. Here in this folder, we have files containing annotations or the labels for objects in the corresponding images. So each label file, it corresponds to image file in the image folder. So for example, this file, it corresponds to this image and this file corresponds to the second image, which provides the details about object locations and classes within the image. So for all the 798 images, we have labels that are label files in the labels folder. So here we can observe that there are 798 label files for those images. All these label files, they follow the YOLO format. I'll show you a sample. So I'm opening the first file. So here, this line represents a detected object in the image. Here, this line specifies object class index along with followed by bounding box coordinates, which are normalized to image dimensions. So here, this is the X limit, this is the Y limit, and this is width, and this is height. Similarly, we will have for all other images in label file. So now close this, get back. Similarly, we have in validation folder also. So here we can observe there are images folder and labels folder. We have two separate folders as train and validation because we use train folder to train all the algorithms and we use validation folder to evaluate all the algorithms built in the project. So now get back. Similarly, we have in YOLO V8 also. YOLO V5 and YOLO V8, each folder contains the same images, but they are annotated differently. Because each YOLO version requires its own specific type of image annotations for training and testing the models effectively. Having separate folders helps keeping the data set organized and ensures that each YOLO version receives the correct annotation it needs to function properly. So here in the samples folder, we have the images. So these images we'll be using as test cases in the front end to detect traffic signs. So now get back. This is the static folder. This folder contains files related to project styling and interactivity. They include CSS, JavaScript, and bootstrap files. And this is the templates folder. Here lies all the HTML pages utilized in the project. They are index.html, about.html, etc. Each HTML file represents a different page of the website and provides structure and the layout for displaying content to the users. And this is app.py file. This Python file encompasses the front-end logic of the project. It handles server-side operations including processing user requests, interacting with the database, and dynamically generating content to be presented in HTML templates. These three are the model files which contain the algorithm information and they will be loaded into the project code during runtime. So here we have notebook.ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contain a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for the data science. And this is the signup file. This file is a database file which is used to store the user information. Now we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. So I'm copying the path. Now we need to open the Anaconda prompt. 
Using the command CD followed by the space, we need to paste the copied path and then click on enter. So here we can observe that current directory is changed to the code folders path. Now we have to compile app.py file. So give the command python space app.py and then click on enter. This command will execute Python script and it will perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. And after running the app.py file, Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, which is the local host and the port unless configured differently. So this is the local host and this is the port. Now we have to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. So I'm copying the link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I will paste it in that. So here we need to paste the link and then click on enter. Here we can see the web page of the project, which is displayed in the browser. And this web page is built using Flash framework. So first we need to sign up. So click on sign up and enter all the registration details. If you are registering newly, I have already registered and I have an account in it. So I will directly sign in. So click on sign in. And here we need to give our username and the password. So I'm giving my username and the password. Now click on login. We have logged in successfully and we are redirected to detection page. Here we can see a choose file button. We need to click on that for uploading the images. So click on choose file. So these are the images using which we will be detecting traffic signs. So I'm going to upload the first image. Click on open. We can observe that image is loaded. Now upload it. So from the image, application has detected a traffic sign that is speed and drawn a blue color bounding box around it and given a probability score of 0 0.74. Probability score is nothing but it is the confidence level that how accurate the detection is. So we will upload some more images. Get back. Click on choose file. I'm going to upload the third image. So here from the image, we can observe that a traffic sign is detected and it is classified as allowed vehicles traffic sign and a red color bounding box is drawn around it with the 0 0.59 probability score. So we'll upload one more image, get back. This time we'll be uploading this image. So here we can observe that there are Two traffic signs detected, one is speed and the other one is no stop. So speed is in different kind of blue color and no stop is in green color. So now get back, click on choose file. Now we will be uploading this image. So here we can observe that application has detected two traffic signs, one is destination sign with the orange color bounding box and speed with blue color bounding box. So now get back, click on choose file to upload some more images. So we will be uploading this image, click on upload. So here there is nothing detected. We'll try some more images. So click on choose file. This time we'll be uploading this image. Click on upload. So here we can observe that there are two traffic signs detected. One is speed and the other one is no entry. No entry is in green color. Speed is in blue color. Get back. Now we will upload the last image. Click on open. And upload it. Here we can observe that there are three signs detected. One is no entry. Other one is compulsory take left sign. And other one is speed. So now we will upload some more get back. Click on choose file. So now we will upload this image. Here we can observe that there is no turn sign detected with the probability score and with yellow color bounding box, which is no U-turn 
traffic sign. So now get back. Click on choose file. So now we will be uploading this image. So here we can observe there are three detected, which is speed and the other two are not visible properly because they are hided over it. So we will upload some more. Click on choose file. So now we will be uploading this image. Click on upload. So here we can observe that there are two signs detected. One is destination sign and the other one is speed. Get back. Click on choose file. So now we will be uploading this image. So here we can observe there are two detected. One is no stopping and the other one is speed. Get back. Now we will upload this image. So here we can observe only one traffic sign is detected that is no entry. We'll upload some more. Click on choose file. So now we will be uploading this image. So here we can observe that there are Four detected one is allowed vehicles in red color, speed detected and no stopping is detected in light blue color. So now we will upload some more get back. So we will be uploading this image. Click on upload. So here we can observe speed is detected. Click on choose file. We'll upload one more image. We will be uploading this image. Click on upload. So here we can observe there are two signs detected. One is compulsory take left and the other one is no U-turn. Get back. Now. We will see the graphs of the project. So click on graph. So here we have precision and recall graph of YOLO where on x-axis we have recall score and on y-axis we have precision score. And here we have FN score graph of YOLO where on x-axis we have conference level and on y-axis we have FN score. This is confusion matrix of YOLO and here we have Precision comparison graph where on x-axis we have precision score and on y-axis we have all the algorithm names. Moving on, this is recall comparison graph and here we have mean average precision comparison graph which is called as MAP. So now click on sign out. In this way, just by giving the images to the system, it will detect traffic signs from the road images. Our project demonstrated the successful evaluation of multiple models of traffic sign detection, highlighting the importance of accuracy, speed, and robustness in ensuring road safety. By comparing various metrics and methodologies, we contributed to the advancements of intelligent transportation system and the development of more effective detection models. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.